Hey guys, hope you're having a wonderful day so far. For today's video, we are continuing Better Call Saul with Season 1, Episode 3, Nacho. So Nacho is one of the crew members in Tuco's crew, which means that this episode is going to be about Nacho. And I do think Tuco is going to be making like appearances. Tuco is like a character that we haven't seen before. I mean, we have seen him in Breaking Bad, but I just find him to be so different than any other character that we have ever met. So that's why I find him to be absolutely fascinating because he is the one who has become successful with absolutely no direction. And the only thing that really made him super successful is just by his brute force. But yeah, if you guys are interested in watching my full-length reaction, be sure to check out my Patreon. I will be linking that down below in the description. But without further ado, let's get into Better Call Saul, Episode 3, Nacho. That phone! That phone! Oh my- was that a Nokia? What was that? Charles McGill, client visit. Charles. Oh! Okay, so- That's Jimmy's father? Based off that phone, that was like super early 90s, Here's maybe Johnny. 80s. Huh? Hey, oh! I knew you'd come. When he was young! Look at his hair. Forget the property damage and assault charges. You face being labeled a sex offender, Jimmy. That is a trumped up load of horse crap, Chuck. Come on. Is that what I tell the judge? Sex offender. That's not even remotely a... <laughs> you got caught doing a scam. Right? I know you got a million legal loopholes that we can dance through. Any clever technicalities? It's all things that he learns. Now that you're in it up to your neck, you can't even call me yourself. You have mom. His calling. brother. Mom took upon herself to call you. Okay, they were siblings. I didn't. They were siblings. I thought Chuck was much older. Can we can we talk strategy here? Was huh? he inspired by his brother to become a lawyer to Look, get all these technicalities, legal like loopholes? Just to I know a sweet I'm a lousy brother. Talker? I don't know. I didn't know. That. I really had no idea they were brothers. But it makes sense as to why he's so dedicated to Chuck. I would not only stop letting you down. You know what? I'd stop letting me down. He's full of sh He is full of it right now. Look at this. You hear this? This is why we know he'd make a great lawyer. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, you can't leave me. No. If I do this, do not make a fool out of me. I promise I won't. It all everything makes sense Everything you're doing, now. everything you're a involved with, does. that's just over. Just tell me what to do. Stop doing this. It's your sibling. How can you not help, you know? <laughs> so just so, Jimmy's just so funny. Look at him. Everything he does, I just love him. <gasps> love this man. You gonna call? I shouldn't have gotten jump scared. Hello? Hey, it's me. <laughs> Jimmy? What's, uh, Jesus, what time is it? Clock says two. <clears throat> I just wanted to call you. At two in the morning. For no reason. I'm not talking dirty to you. Wait, you think that's the only reason I would call you at this time of night? And you're not talking dirty to me either. Okay, bye. I knew it. A joke? <laughs> Probably swamped with work anyways with, with that big fat giant case. Which case is that? Some county official or something. It was in all the papers. Kettleman. The primo client your dipwad boss stole right out from under me. Kettleman's made a choice. Yeah. So did the Donner Party when they took that oh, shortcut. Oh God, don't bring up the Donner Party. How much exactly did Kettleman get away with? Excuse me, innocent until proven Ooh, guilty. She's not saying nothing. Uh, I have to go to sleep. He got away with a million. This guy's, yeah, he's probably a target. His whole family could be in danger. Why would you say that? I'm, I'm drunk. I'm thinking out loud. You sure? Yeah. Did he almost slip up? Good night, Kim. Good night, Jimmy. Okay, so she's not giving any details away. But I think he may have implanted the idea in her head that'll make him... Her want to work with him. I'm no hero. Wasting all the paper towels. Do you know how expensive paper towels are? Okay, you needed the cardboard thing. Gotcha. Okay. Why? Ooh, he's gonna build a contraption. 2:30 a.m. It's like crafty Jimmy hours, huh? change his voice with that? You reached Team Kettleman! That is horrible. The, that was the worst thing I've ever heard for an answering machine. Oh my god. I don't think they're, they're capable of crime. I really don't. Not after that. I think that they're like 
What is it, like the Brady Bunch? Hello! You Making us listen to it again. <laughs> okay. God, I know it's terrible to listen to. It's not, I know it's, it's not his conscience fighting him. It's, it's, it's that dang voice message. Hello? Calvin, you're in danger. You're in danger. Say that again, please. This is a warning. You're in danger. You have a terrible connection. Can you, can you call back on a better line? <laughs> I love how they're like, you're just in call back. They're coming for your money. Bye. He didn't even change his voice. He's like, all right, I could have just. We're in danger. They're coming. Who's coming? They look so blank. They're like, uh, okay. Are you gonna like threaten them or was it just a call? I think that was just a coincidence. Time served plus counseling. Can't do it. Would you work with me here? I'm listening, aren't I? Kind of a captive audience. <laughs> the 30 he's done, which is a 60 credit plus 60 additional days. Wow. Can't do it. That's never gonna happen. Guy drove drunk into a shopping center and killed three people. Desmond Rojas, armed robbery. He assaulted a cashier with a bottle of Kahlua. I was thinking Daryl Redwood. Yeah, okay, my bad. Start over. I am not starting over. I'm busting my nut hair every day for 700 a throw, inhaling your BM. Ugh, gross. 90 days with good behavior, we're doing this. Okay, yeah. Say it. I accept the deal. That man really pooped with with Jimmy on the other side of the stall. Good morning. I, I, no, I told you I, I was drunk. I just, why are you asking me this? All right, Mike. Oh, damn it, here. I'm in a real rush. I didn't have time to get the validation. Fine, nine bucks. I will get you the stickers when I come back. I will get you extra if you just let me go. Is Mike gonna be soft? Bang! No. I'm not making you do anything. Those are the rules. <laughs> rules are rules. <laughs> Wrong you, geezer! Love that. Ooh, Mike's not gonna be happy after that. And he also had to add a, like a screw you geezer at the end. Mm-mm-mm. Was it just a threat or did something actually already happen? He's gonna act like he works for Kim, I think. How are you, oh my god, how is he gonna do this? What brought you here? Never mind. Me? I, I, I was surfing the police scanner. I heard there was big activity. So you just showed up. The kettleman's okay? Uh, we don't know. The place is ransacked, no sign of the family, there's no note, so we're still figuring it out. Jimmy didn't do this. Good luck. Why did you come here? Tell me why you said those things last night. I'm just reading tea leaves. All that money floating out there, it's logical. Somebody would come after it. It's not just Craig and Betsy Kettleman, it's their two kids as well. Say something if you could help find them, right? I, d I don't know what happened to them. The longer you stay here, the more explaining I have to do to Hamlin. I'll talk to you later. I don't know why I thought like Kim was gonna bring him under her wing in front of her boss. I thought that she had like a little trick up her sleeve and that's why he had to show up quickly, but I don't really know. What's going on? Hey, okay. The camera It'll work here gives me very big Arrested Development vibes. Nacho, leave it. Uh, this is the party you spoke to the other day, and I sincerely want to help you de-escalate your situation uh, legally. So call me at one four six eight seven two nine. So you're just gonna stand here? For a second, I thought he was gonna give his personal number. I really was concerned for a moment. Yeah, Nacho. Hi, uh, just to clarify, look, I don't know anything. Call me when you get this. I think he's just gonna show up at his job. If I didn't say it before, time is of the essence. I'm gonna hang up now, if you're trying to call. He's so nervous, I feel really bad. This is all a big misunderstanding. Hello? Nacho? Nacho! Oh my god! The car's not even started. So he's stuck here anyway, he's gotta take the call. Oh. You think they're after him that quickly? I don't think that's them. 
I think he's just gonna be making assumptions. Walking. Oh no, okay, apparently I just have zero survival skills. Gotcha. I would be killed instantly if I ever tried to do it. Oh my god! So shut up! You guys are cops! What's going on? They already raided Nacho's place. James McGill! And they have heard the call. Easy! This is this not is lawyer. Good. Who's lawyer? Why did you have to arrest him for that? Oh my god, he got caught! He got caught! I thought you were a professional criminal, man. You got caught within 24 hours? Oh, we... We got some chatting hey, to do. you asked for me, and I have come. Uh, those two detectives, they just gave me an earful. He looks angry. A neighbor lady saw a suspicious van parked across the street from the Kettleman's house. She wrote down the license plate. It was your license plate. Cops tracked your van and you searched it and found blood on the floor. Oh no. How are you gonna explain this? If you tell me where the family is, if you, if you give them up now, I feel very good about knocking your sentence down to 18 years. Please say anything, Nacho. You miserable piece of shit. You gave my score to another crew and now you're setting me up. What? You saying that you had nothing to do with this? That was your van outside the house. I was there. I was casing the place, figuring out the best way in and out. They were fine when I left. How do we prove this? What about the blood in your van? The blood of your skate rat twins plus whatever. Nobody's been in the back of that van since. How are we gonna explain the blood first thing first? I told my plan to one other person. Well, like you said, it would be a hot commodity. Anyone else in the paper could assume that they have the money and then go after him. I don't know anything about a setup or another crew. Yeah, 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 you scary. I don't even care. That's what they all say and then they care. If they find something on me or my partners, it's gonna be bad for you. You get me out of here today or you're a dead man. Yeah, he's gotten self-involved with some real bad people. Not a good situation to be in. How are we gonna go about this legally? You didn't tell me you were representing the lead suspect. I didn't know it at the time. Did he tell you where the family is? He doesn't know because he didn't do it. Oh, Chris, give me a break. That family is in real danger. You don't have to stand behind attorney-client privilege. I'm not. You're gonna get your special CSI people, right? And you're gonna test the blood from that van because I guarantee you one billion percent, it's not the Kettleman's. Whose is it? Not the Kettleman's. It's not the Kettleman's. If we could even get a DNA sample to compare it to. You have their house. I'm sure it'll be hard to find. There's no evidence that points to anyone else. Well, then I want to see the crime scene because you guys are missing something. Screw you. I think that's a good idea. I think we should invite Mr. McGill to the house. They can't, like, get DNA from the house? Possible blood match? What'd we miss? To test it, it takes weeks. This is the son's room, Warren. Trying to make him feel 12 years old. Aww, they were so little. JoJo's room. Oh, her name JoJo. She's seven. Right, she was on the very, the, the voicemail thing. You wanted me to crack, mission accomplished. We know Varga was outside the house the night the family disappeared. That is a fact. Where's the doll? In every picture of this little girl, she's holding the same doll. The family set it up. They left, left to get themselves off the hook to get away with the money. Which means the kid wasn't I dragged out of the house. It. Ipso facto, maybe the Kettleman's kidnapped themselves. They stole a million dollars plus. If you run, everyone knows you're guilty. But if you're kidnapped, you're a victim. But the kids are gonna cough it up. You don't think it's possible I'm right? It's possible. Unlikely. All their cars are here. There's no record of a taxi or car service to the house. Maybe they paid someone. And the doll, it's not news. The girl was scared, crying. Bad guy lets the kid take the doll to shut her up. I need to talk to you. Alone. I called the Kettleman's. After I hung up with you, I gave them a warning call. I was worried my guy Varga was going after their money, and he was. I called the Kettleman's anonymously. You didn't do the sex robot voice, did you? Oh, I, did I don't want to hear that. tube and the whole thing. That sounds terrible. This is a normal thing for Jimmy? That, that horrifies me. You, you believe me now? Great! Now we have to find them. Get the cops to let Varga go, because right now my ass is on the highway to the danger zone. He's a bad guy. If the cops keep pushing him, they're gonna find something, and when that happens, Nacho blames me. You are giving away way too much. Jimmy, tell the police. I will never be safe. I have to convince the cops that I'm right and catch the Kettleman's on the run. If they never catch them? Well, you've met these people, I've... right? They're, they're not exactly I don't believe that. I think right? they secretly they are. Caught. If they got away with a million dollars, I think they're able to... I think they're crafty. 
Hamlin will never agree to it. The Kettlemans are our clients. This would mean incriminating oh, them. You, you see, this is why people hate lawyers. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, it, I get it. Where are you going? I'm gonna go talk to Nacho. Oh my gosh, he's not gonna let him in. Come on. Oh, <gasps> he's the toll troll. You're not allowed in. I was a jerk. So I will, I will pay you what I owe you. Plus interest, if you just let me come through. I suggest you find parking somewhere else. Pump out the ticket and open the stupid gate already, please. <gasps> what? I'm gonna park right here. What are you gonna do? You look gonna put a little diaper in there? Are you gonna throw it at me? <laughs> you call him old? Stop, are you? Oh, 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 classic. Oh, oh. Classic Mike. Lawyer's got this bullshit theory about them staging this right off with the money. He needs to help us get his scumbag client to talk. You on board? Help us do some good. He's like, don't touch me. You assaulted this man. I know he's Give like. Give me a break. I barely touched the guy. Philly, you laid I hands on him first. Now, this gentleman is willing to let this go, not press charges, if you help us out. Get your client to tell us where he has the family stashed. Well, Nacho is Nacho Man. Comprendo? Kettleman's took themselves. To book him. Yeah, sure. I changed my mind. We talked about this. You want to press charges. Oh. Oh, that's why I gotcha. No, I don't think I said that, buddy. Well, I guess it's my loss. Respect. Big hey, Cagney, respect. Lacey, when you realize how wrong you are about all this, I'll take an edible arrangement as a sorry. Oh Heavy my God. on the pineapple. Oh, so good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And make sure it's dipped in chocolate and everything. Okay, don't tell me, all right? I already know why you did it. Because you believe me. That family kidnapped themselves. All right, I believe you. I knew it! Well, why do you believe me? I heard the details. Your story makes sense. Of course it does. Uh, how'd they get out of the country? They didn't. When I was still on the job back in Philly, we yeah, had this it case. Was Philly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. You were a cop yes, on the job? Yes, he was. And this bookie disappeared after the Super Bowl. Took $6 million in bets. He was two doors down from where he lived in a foreclosed house. Hid there for six months without anyone suspecting. Because no one would, ex would suspect that. And they definitely did because I think they're secretly geniuses. That had some deep meaning there, and I don't know why. They went camping. But how do you- how are you gonna get the kids to, like, agree to this? Cause, like, I feel like kids are brutally honest. Like, if the cops ask them where they were, they'd be like, Mommy and Daddy took us camping. They're out there somewhere. The fact that he is, like, the best investigator here is crazy to me. So they know how to stay in nature for extended periods of time since they're clearly avid camping lovers. I hope he remembers where he was, cause like, I don't want him to get lost. How many miles has he walked? You're like, possible lawyer finding you? Committing like this, this like kidnapping self thing? He was right all along. They really did steal all the money. I found them. Hey, it's me. Listen to this. You hear that? I found your dumbass clients. <laughs> I'm taking them back to their they, place. They're not gonna we'll listen. You gotta, you, bring the, you gotta bring the cops. Uh, yeah. Oh, you know those people were too happy yeah, and smiley. They always got the darkest bed. past. Do we have to? Let's do this. Here's Johnny! Yeah! Hey, Warren. Hey, Jojo. Sorry about that. I'm your Uncle Jimmy. <laughs> Uncle Jimmy. We're going to take you down the mountain. <laughs> See, they're excited. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, McGill, can we talk about this? No, no. we can't. <laughs> but can, please, can we just... Did you just snap to quiet him down? You, you either like, do this on your him? own recognizance or the cops come and drag you by your heels. Oh. This is happening! No, this yes. Betsy's evil. I knew she was evil since we first laid eyes on her. Do it! No! I was just no! evil. You guys are screwed. So screwed. <laughs> that was perfect. So just finished watching the latest episode of Better Call Saul and the second that you see people who are way too happy and just seem too perfect, they have a darkness within them. You can't trust people who are too perfect. Like, like there's always something. And I'm really glad that, you know, Jimmy is not gonna get murdered by Nacho. It seemed like they had their children trained like that. She snapped and her son 
immediately stop talking. They literally kidnapped their own children against their will. Like, they are not good people. So far, I'm having a lot of fun watching it. It is very different than Breaking Bad, but I'm like, I'm, I love that it's in the same universe. I still make those little connections here and there. <laughs> Every, I'm telling you every time. No, Do it. Try time. it. What? Oh! I gotta work okay. on it, bro. All right, man. The timing's important, but... But well, you don't do it, like, in her ear. No, you or... don't. What are we talking about? This town sucks. <laughs> uh, sorry, bro. I know it's yours and everything, but it's not even two. Yeah, it looks really dead. Yeah, I know this uh, After Hours place. Two is After uh, Hours? Blocks off Cermak. Yeah. You want to hit it? Hells yeah. Bro, I never did catch your name. Saul. Saul Good, man. <laughs> Get it? That's where it comes from, Saul Goodman. I love that. What is that? Saul Goodman. Saul Goodman. Holy shit! It's got to be at least a thousand. That's bucks so in here, dope. I never oh put. God. I never made that association. I never put. So like, is there an ID or? Yeah, I don't know. Some fat guy. He's got a name, you know. You see his ID. I'm thinking that one. Maybe instead of let's see, let's call the cops. Wear like a suit. Why is he? Uh... I don't know. Somebody better go check. This guy plays a drunk guy really well. Are you gonna poke him with a stick from the garbage? Ah! Hey! Okay, so he's just very drunk. Gotcha. Hey, Perfect buddy. place to lay. Uh, hey, would you answer me? Uh, hey, answer this, you butthole. He <laughs> called him a butthole? <laughs> what? The, what? <laughs> hey, man, what's your problem? But. but. He's but drunk. The problem is I'm standing here talking to a couple of buttholes. You're, you're not standing. I'll come in at McDonald's where you work, I'll buy it, and I'll fire you. I'll say, drop your mops, you butthole. <laughs> I love this man. I hope he, I hope he's okay. Just he fell butthole. asleep. <laughs> I'm keeping the money. I got dibs on that watch, man. What kind is it? It's the watch. What kind of watch is it? Let me look at it. I would still call the cops and be like, there's a very drunk man. It's a damn Rolex. You keep the cash, I'll just keep the watch. Well, it's worth like three grand, man. <sighs> hey, hey, hey. <sighs> 60, 80, 580 bucks, add that to the thousand. It's more than half. We're good, right? Yeah, we good? Okay. Later, sucker! He feels right doing that. <gasps> He's gonna roundhouse kick you! <gasps> what? No friggin' Six way. Left. He scammed him. God, I hope so. So he goes, bonds with someone, leads him to this guy. Wow, he's really been scamming for a long, long time. What a genius. You're the man, me. I'm just, I love watching you work. Yeah, he's great. I already called your lawyer. This little family outing of yours has put an innocent man in jail. The cops are investigating this as a kidnapping. They already rounded up some poor suspect. You almost ruined someone's life. I, we had no idea. She doesn't care. Could this have been the person in the van? Betsy does not care. Well, we had a phone call. And they said someone was coming for us. And there was a van outside yeah. the house, as if whoever was inside and was And they were just trying to protect themselves. Mm -hmm. That's their alibi. We did what we did for the kids. The kids. Betsy is the mastermind. Look at her. She looks evil. But you and your family are safe. I mean, the police are all over this thing. So. I, we can't just go back. They'll crucify Craig. If they think I ran away, it'll look like I did something yeah, wrong. Did you see all the money in the bag? You did do something wrong. Before I found you, what were you planning to do? Working that out. We were working that you, out. Uh, You're outdoorsy, right? So you went on an impromptu camping trip. I don't know. Something people do. Kim Wexler is very good. She'll make it work. Yeah, wait, what about the money? You ever hear of a bargaining chip? What we have right here is the mother of all bargaining chips. Do you expect us to give this back? Y yeah. We are not giving this back. It's the right thing to do. This money belongs to us. We are, well, I mean, Craig earned it. Weekends, yep. holidays, all, all unpaid. unpaid. Just because your salary doesn't mean you don't deserve overtime. She, they're so, she's so greedy. She's like manipulating him, I think. And he's like agree, agreeable to it. Slavery, I, that used to be legal. Human slavery. Did you see the size of your house? He's clearly getting paid well enough that you don't have to steal a million dollars. Bribing. Please don't tell anyone about the money. I can't take a bribe. I can't take a retainer Client. for my services as your lawyer. I know that HHM is shiny and it's slick and it's... What are you going to get from me that you're not going to get from those other guys? Passion. Who found you? 
I don't see Howard Hamlin ruining his $300 Gucci loafers out here. If you're with me, you're my number one client. That is something that Saul always had. He did have dedication to all of his clients. I believe that. He is very good. He's very dedicated at what he does. But why not? You're the kind of lawyer guilty people hire. That is a really disgusting thing to say. And that's going to haunt him, I think, for the rest of his career. <laughs> Hi, Mike. How you doing? Things okay? Did it make the paper? Did what make the paper? Check it out tomorrow morning. Front page. The Kettleman's safe and sound. Looks like you called it. Camping. It's right in their own backyard. Well, <clears throat> five miles above it. He walked five miles? Not the loquacious sort, are you? We can't all be as blessed as you. <laughs> Thanks for your help. If you ever need any assistance. Whoa, whoa, why is my client in handcuffs? Let's go, go ahead, take them off. There yeah, you go. what is that? Disrespectful. A family can't go on a little vacation without the whole city going on lockdown. Don't want to push your luck with me, scumbag. Uh. <clears throat> I believe I did more than what you asked of me. That would make us square. Camping? You expect me to believe that shit? They decide to go camping right after I run my little offer by you? Could be argued that all of life is one great coincidence. He's like, no, you warned them. Somebody warned them. They're pretty rash when it comes to the decision making. I, they're not really. He's laughing. He's types. so yeah, I'd angry. I cut the cute attitude right about now if I were you. You ratted on me. There will be consequences. He didn't rat on you. Well, he did, but like. Hey, if somebody warned it's just an the assumption. Kettlewoods, it was probably somebody who was worried about those kids. Any trouble you might have, that's on you. Not to mention the blood in your van. You have no idea the tap dance I had to give those cops to get you out of here. Somebody is who may have warned the Kettleman's got them out of there before you did anything even more stupid. You should be thanking this good Samaritan. Mm-hmm. I love that he's so good with his words. He knows how to twist every situation, convince people all within just a few sentences. Imagine having that talent, that skill. I just didn't know that Jimmy came from like such a, I guess the best way of saying it was like scumbag background where he was scamming people. He was just doing all these like really disgusting things just to make a couple of bucks. And then he was like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to become a lawyer. He got inspired by his brother, I think. And he just turned out to be very good at it. Oh, he took the bribe. He an took the bribe. Year. $950 an hour. $19,000. Plus $1,000 for travel expenses. I didn't expect him to take the money. Do you guys remember in Breaking Bad where he freaked out and wouldn't take a bribe from, from Walt and Jesse from the, in the very beginning? Upon this rock, I will build my church. He's like unbribable. At least later down the road, from what I remember. So I feel like something is going to come from that. And I want you to cut the armholes high, okay? Of course. Cloth? Uh, wool? Keep it warm. Super 170 Tasmanian wool. Beautiful choice, sir. Oh, that's it. Perfect. Pinstripe. The pinstripe. And I'm assuming you want to see some ties. You know, picturing something in a, a light blue knit. Could you make sure uh, those are real mother of pearl buttons on the shirts? Uh, of course. He did his research, huh? Sounds really, really expensive, really, really fancy. But I guess if you want one very good suit, you know, better double down. <laughs> the orange! Here we are. Classic Saul. He loved his orange. Strawberry Fields Forever? Mm, not even close. Yes, it is. Oh, it's way more Sassafras Glow. Is it Sassafras Glow, am I right? Or maybe Rhapsody in Blonde. But whatever happened to the customer is always right. Sassafras glow. Mix it up, all right? <laughs> wash it out in the morning. It's bleach. It doesn't wash out. What? It's permanent? Or oh, Photoshop the color. I want to go with the uh, simple curling iron job. Ringlets. You know, on top. Like a, like a perm? Oh my god, I want to see the perm they're going to give him. She looks stressed. You've reached the law offices of James M. McGill Esquire, a lawyer you can trust. That sounds so untrustworthy. It's me. Hi. Thought you might be up for some Kurt Russell action. I owe you one, so why don't we just grab some dinner first, my treat? Can you give me a call anyway? I really want to talk to you. Hey. Craig and Betsy really put us in a corner with the police. Something else is on his mind. Do you have a minute? Yeah, of course. Oh, God. What's up? I don't like this. I don't like this. Whoa. Yeah. What are we looking at? Did Saul... That's 
I mean, that's my suit, right? Am I crazy here? So... <laughs> no, you're not crazy. And the hair! That's our logo. He's just straight up copying us. What the hell is he thinking with this? He's Saul, he's amazing. He's Jimmy, he's hilarious. He's, you know, a free spirit. <laughs> look at his hair! <laughs> he like made him look like him. He's really forcing my hand here. He looks comfy. Am I interrupting? Yes. Not at all. Have a massage free of charge. Oh yeah. Uh, give the old dogs a rest. <laughs> He's just such a funny person. Everything about him is hilarious. Very nice. I get this free every night. Free cucumber water. I'm living like a king, man. Mm -hmm. Is this a cease and desist? Yeah. How pissed was he? Very. Well, his head didn't actually explode, but you know, pretty damn pissed. Like, this won't end well for you, pissed. What the hell is with that billboard? Yeah. Spending God knows how much money turning yourself into a little Hamlin clone. I mean, <laughs> he did. It is so personal. It is really personal. It is completely and totally personal. Oh, no, no, no. You can Howard? advertise, Jimmy, all you want. That billboard is not advertising. That is a declaration of war. It's right at Hamlin's exit. You know he drives by it every day. <laughs> He did everything to make him mad. All right, now he fired the first shot, okay? Trying to keep me from using my name, my own name, Kim. You're better than this. I'm better than this? Yeah. Well, you're better than that schmuck Hamlin. Oh, God. You could be somewhere where they appreciate you. Well, I don't know, maybe they care about you? If Hamlin wants to come after me, he knows where I am. What can you do when you get a cease and desist? Can you, like, just say no? I feel like you can't just say no. If you ignore it, they continue legal action. The next step is an injunction. You can't win this fight. Didn't you have other things you wanted to ask him about? Your Honor, I'm a humble solo practitioner. This is trademark infringement. Mr. McGill's new logo is an absolute copy of ours. There are only so many fonts. Does Mr. Hamlin outright own them all? But we've been using this particular font for 12 years now. With our tri-rectangle graphic and Hamlin to go blue, constitutes a trademark <laughs> brand identifier. He's so irritating to deal with. You seriously named a color Hamlindigo? That is our trademark name. Hamlindigo, I heard that. I was like, there's no way. I was like, there's, he made that. The name McGill appears in both Trust logos, which I believe exactly Mr. McGill is hoping the same. to further confuse potential clients. So I can't advertise under my own name now? You can't take my name from me. He wants me to change my name. Mr. McGill, I've heard enough. You are within your rights to advertise using your own name. In my estimation, the billboard clearly and intentionally duplicates elements of the Hamlin Hamlin McGill logo. The billboard must come down within 48 hours. Oh, oh. yeah, I mean, how are you gonna win that, to be honest? Yeah, okay, well, let me give you my cell just in case. It, thank you. I need to see him in the orange. I just want to be the station that brought down Big Law. You could be like the reporters that brought down Big Tobacco. I'm grateful to you for exposing this injustice. The war is an important story as well. <laughs> the war? <laughs> it's, it's important, I, I'd say. <laughs> but not as important as this, clearly. I see. Okay. can't touch the goods. I signed the form only I can touch the camera. College students, right. They're willing to kind of take any, they're willing to take any story. Yeah, like that. Got it? Yeah. Good. Is he in the shot? No, dude, just go. How do I look? No, dude, just go. Great. No, this is my good side. <laughs> Love him. Jesus, just, you said 100 for one hour, not freaking three. You clearly have a journalistic impulse. I'm James McGill. I represented those with nowhere else to turn. But I've also had a dream to own my own business. I scrimped and I saved, and uh, finally I was able to buy one billboard. I've always been told that America is the land of opportunity, and I believed it until today. A large law firm came after me. They said that I was hurting their business. They're rich, they're powerful, I'm just one man. So who do you think the court sided with? He's making valid points. If they want to fight, they're going to get a fight because I'm not giving up. Not Holy shit, dude, dude. Ah, get me down. Dude, I, 
Call 911. Yes, help. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna. Now he's gonna be labeled a hero because he saved this man. And then his video is gonna go viral. Let's go. So it's gonna look even better for him. That's why it's good to wear harnesses. He's just recording anyway. Is he not wearing like a harness or anything? Is he just gonna pull him up? I don't know. This is so scary. Imagine trying to do this when you don't have a harness. And imagine having a fear of heights. I'm like expecting the wire to snap at any time or something. That's actually so risky and scary. Took you long enough. He saved your life. It was a scam. It was a scam. He played them. He played them. Not really a big fan of heights. Let me Jimmy's tell you, a but, genius. You know, inside me, Can you believe this guy? You don't think anyone's going to actually buy this. Everybody's going to buy it. Hard to say. People love a hero. The whole thing's a damn stunt. He sees right through Jimmy, to be honest, which I'm pretty surprised. It's a guy who's in the right. And she thought it was really smart. He's gonna get some calls. He has to. How many voicemails? You have seven new messages. Okay! That was really clever. He took his little scamming past and used it in his favor. Does someone know what, what the deal is with the, the whole cell phone thing and the... Ooh. Yeah, the cell phone issue and the, the blanket. Showmanship, Chuck. Cheerios. Big day. My phone's ringing off the hook. That's great, Jimmy. Well, I gotta admit, you were right. Do good work and the clients will come. You know, I'll, I'll admit. He has no idea what Jimmy did. What, you've been getting referrals from your PD clients? Oh, uh, yeah. I just needed to get my face out there. So the prosecutors then, referring clients. Was it Bergeron? It was someone on her team. He's gonna find out. Stop you know, lying. I mean, hey, I don't see the journal here. Albuquerque Journal. I didn't see it outside. Maybe they forgot to deliver it. Maybe some kids grabbed it. Because if there's one thing kids love, it's local print journalism. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. I don't want to be late. Good luck today. Thanks. Keep it up. Hard work looks good on you. His eyes must be hurting. He lives in such darkness. Is he gonna take someone else's? Everybody but him, huh? And he's disconnected, so if it's not for the paper, he doesn't know what's going on. I wanna know what's going on. Like I want it over. Oh. I really want an explanation as to why because he he was fine before and then some, something must have happened. Yep. He's like he's scamming. So in this episode, we see that Jimmy kind of had a little bit of a relapse into his old past where he kind of would scam people. Now that I know where Saul Goodman comes from, it's like it's so entertaining. You guys know that when I first was introduced to Saul, I thought I considered him to be like a sleazy car, sa car salesman, like someone you really can't trust, someone who's just trying to screw you over and get as much money out of you as possible. But the writing for his character was so good because immediately, just by the way he speaks, how he's written, you get that vibe. And then you find out that his entire past was exactly Exactly that and now he's someone who's like abiding by the law but he's always trying to almost skirt by it so he, it's a very interesting dynamic very interesting character but yeah I, I like the show so far let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video bye everyone